Dear students, now we are going to discuss bending losses in optical fiber. Bending losses are nothing but the radiative losses due to the curvature or an abrupt change in the radius of the curvature of fiber. That means the sharp bend of a fiber causes radiative losses. Okay. There are two types of bending losses available in fiber. Macroscopic bending losses, simply macro bending losses. The next one is microscopic bending losses. So let's start with this macroscopic bending losses. So this is also called as large curvature radiation loss. That is the bend is having the larger radius than the fiber diameter. So here we can see this diagram. So in this one, so this is the fiber diameter, right? So here the radius of curvature is larger than this diameter. That's why it is called as larger curvature radiative loss. Okay. Here as the radius of this curvature decreases further, then the loss increases exponentially. If the radius of curvature decreases means there is a sharp end of this fiber. Do you all understand this one? So in this diagram, this represents the field distribution of the light wave or the mode. Okay. So in this one, due to this curvature area, the radiative power is last at a particular distance from this fiber axis. So this distance is denoted as Xc that is the critical distance from the fiber axis. So here the radiative power loss occurs. Okay. So this R is nothing but the radius curvature. Do you all understand this one? At critical distance Xc the loss is maximum 1. This fiber loss occurs when the cable turns a corner. It is only occurs at this corner. Okay. Next, we are going to find out the total number of modes propagating under the macroscopic bending loss. Here, the lower order modes are more tightly bound to the fiber core than the higher order mode. That means, higher order modes are loosely bound with the fiber core. It can be easily radiated first. Okay. Then, the number of modes in curved fiber is always less than the number of modes in straight fiber. So next we are going to find out the effective number of modes supported by this curved multi-mode fiber that is equal to n infinity. This n infinity is nothing but the total number of modes in a straight fiber. So this is the effective number of modes in a curved fiber. Okay. That is equal to n infinity into 1 minus alpha plus 2 by 2 alpha del into 2a by capital R plus 3 by 2n to k into R the whole power 2 by 3. So here alpha is nothing but graded index profile. Del is the core cladding index difference that is n1 minus n2. n1 is the core refractive index. n2 is the cladding refractive index. K is equal to 2 pi by lamina that is nothing but beta wave propagation constant. Next n infinite that is the total number of modes in a straight fiber that is equal to alpha by alpha plus 2 into n1 k a the whole squared into del. Okay. So next we are going to find out the radius of curvature for multi-mode fiber. It can be denoted as RC that is the radius of curvature for multi-mode M is equal to 3N1 squared lambda divided by 4 pi into N1 squared minus N2 squared the whole power 3 by 2. Okay. Similarly, we can find out the radius of curvature for single mode fiber that is approximately equal to 20 lambda by N1 minus N2 the whole power 3 by 2, 2.748 minus 0.996 lambda by lambda c the whole power minus 3. Here lambda c is nothing but cut off wavelength. Okay. This macro bending radiative loss depends on two parameters. One is field strength at critical distance cxc. The next one is radius of curvature. Okay. So these two parameters are important to define macro bending losses in optical fiber. Macro bending losses can be reduced either by using fiber with large refractive index difference that is del value 
or operating at the shortest wavelength okay so these two are the methods to minimize the macro bending losses okay so next one is micro bending losses so here micro bends are the repetitive small scale fluctuations in the radius of curvature of the fiber so it can cause the power loss from higher order mode or power coupling to a higher order mode so either we can lose the power or we can couple the power with this fluctuations okay so here the micro bending loss occurs when the fibers are incorporated into other cables that is coupling with the cables it can also be defined as mode coupling losses okay this micro bending losses are caused by either non uniformities of the fiber or non uniform lateral pressures given during the cabling of the fiber so this micro bending losses can be minimized by introducing compressible jacket over the fiber so when external forces are applied to this fiber this compressible jacket will be deformed and to protect the fiber inside it so it can be deformed but the inner core fiber is almost straight okay so this is how we can reduce micro bending losses okay so next we are going to relate the, the loss with respect to the wavelength okay so here we are going to compare three losses one is basic fiber loss next one is loss due to micro bending the next one is loss due to macro bending so from this diagram we come to know that around 1500 to 1600 range the micro and macro bending losses are less in single mode fiber it is almost very less okay when compared with other wavelengths okay the last one is the loss with respect to mode field diameter so in this one the smaller the mode field diameter then smaller the bending loss okay